What would happen if we spawned 10,000 people in the ocean? Let's find out. Uh, so we'll go ahead and grab the humans here, and I'm thinking we're actually gonna spawn them over here in kind of the Indian Ocean, uh, just because I feel like there's a lot of different spots they could expand to. They could go to like Africa, Madagascar, India area, or kind of uh, Australia, Oceania area. All right, so I'll pull up my auto clicker, and yeah, this is gonna take a little bit. So I'm gonna go grab some coffee real quick, and I'll be back two hours later all right any minute now oh shoot okay it's done all right there we go we got ten thousand people uh i'm gonna make this a little bit more interesting and sp maybe spawn some piranhas in here oh yeah i can i can already tell my game's lagging okay we'll do some piranhas and i kind of want to let's make them giant and let's make them like super fast all right so we'll go ahead and hit play okay so people are expanding it looks like they're going in every direction so that's good i don't think anyone's died to the piranhas yet actually uh i'm, I'm a little bit disappointed let's actually spawn a few more um maybe some crocodiles do they do they eat people in the water i'm not really sure we'll just go and sprinkle some piranhas in there what are you idiots doing they're all going for this tiny little island i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that island <laughs> i don't know why they always do this though the ai is like so stupid sometimes they'll go for like the tiniest island possible um well now they're all just gonna go for madagascar oh my gosh everyone's going to madagascar even this group up here went to madagascar okay well let's go ahead and add just a few land bridges here um so that they can at least expand I want to see where everyone else went. Okay, so a lot of people went to Sri Lanka, which is uh, fine because it is connected to India, um, this game. So one of our first empires is Holy Pammy with 37, almost 3,800 population. Um, then we got Olal up here with 11. Um, Great Un with seven. Great Easy with 38. Oh my gosh, okay. Look at this. Look how many people are here. Okay, well that's good. They, they are expanding out of Madagascar. Uh, so I'm glad that I built that bridge here. But man, look at this. Okay, I bet she is a new one. Rebel the Lee, Okoko, Er. Yeah, it looks like there's still a lot of blue dots, which means those are people that uh, haven't found an empire yet. So they're just kind of funneling into a bunch of different empires in here. <laughs> All right, what is the, um, what's the biggest empire right now? So it looks like Holy Pammy, which is, I believe over here somewhere. Oh no, it's the one in uh, Sri Lanka. We got three people that went to um, the Philippines over here. So that just feels so random because they would have had to land on Indonesia and then go over here and, and uh, swim to these islands. All right, the humans continue to expand. Um, we got Ahem down here and Isa. I don't see many uh, blue dots anymore. So I think that's all of them though oh holy pammy though their culture is leveling up really quick so it looks like they have docks and houses i feel pretty bad for them though because they are literally just so stuck in this little spot um because they have olal and and holy nebido just um blocking them in oh wait okay they did actually build a new colony and it looks like people are slowly migrating over there oh crap are they all starving they're literally just all starving all at the same time. Oh, that's terrible. They they definitely do not have enough food. Uh, they literally don't have any food um, to feed 4,000 people. How is everyone else doing? Is Are these... Uh, oh, yeah. Literally, everyone's dying just across the entire continent. Yeah. Is there anyone that's not dying? I mean, these small colonies over here are probably the only ones uh, doing well right now. Uh, yeah. Well, this is a problem. Maybe we can... Um, if we give them some berry bushes. All right. Well... Uh, I mean, I got one in there. Can we get any more? Here, maybe uh, maybe we can get some in here. There we go. I mean, I'll be honest. I think Irodran, they did this to themselves. I mean, they could have gone anywhere. They could have gone, they could have gone to China. I mean, they literally, they had so many options to go to and they chose like the worst spot. So yeah, I think if they all die, that's, you know, that's just on them. I realize I'm, I'm on the village layer. Okay, so that's actually called Holy Pammy. All right, let's take a look at the cultures. So Katarab, which is Holy Pammy, um, they're level five. So they got house tier two, swords. Okay, and then Nyaran, um, so they're part of Okoko and they have like house tier two, swords and windmills so they're all they're all developing fairly similarly yeah so since the empires now do have armies i'm sure we're gonna start to see some wars here um pretty soon i'm curious uh i think we might have solved the food problem okay so at coco they have um they have three berries which you know what that's better than then zero berries. So I think because they have positive amount of berries, I don't, I think that means nobody's starving. Oh, nope, everyone's starving still. But you know what? It's been 16 years and we've only had a hundred deaths, which I would say is pretty good given that there's 
kind of a worldwide uh, famine going on right now. Okay, Holy Pammy's building some new colonies over here. Um, we got Fulwark and Umaspi up there. Then Ch Chulecha and Pies are still just hanging out over here on uh, the Philippines. They kind of doomed themselves because they're not going to be able to get anywhere um, until they get some transport boats, which will probably be another 10 years or so, um, if not longer. Great Essie is also building some new colonies. They've moved down onto Australia with Michon. Um, I guess it's just one guy down here. Who is this man? Pohati. Man, my guy Pohati is just having a grand old time down here. He uh he's overeating right now. Like most most of the world is starving right now, and this man is just engorging himself. He's very happy. Um he's just he's just chilling down here. Uh he built himself a nice little uh campfire. He's gonna build himself a little beach house down here. Oh, there's a guy coming down to join him. I wonder if Ohati's happy about people joining him. He seems like he's just kind of vibing down here by himself. Especially this guy. I mean, who is this? He's got like the worst traits. I think this guy's just a reject from society. Okay, but their colony is expanding though. They're up to five population. I feel like Great Essie will probably end up kind of occupying all of Australia. I don't really see any other empires I'm going for Australia. All right, so we just reached year 24 and the death count has definitely risen. Um, we are at 7,000 deaths. So you can see Okoko is is a lot more uh, empty than it used to be. No, look at Holy Pammy. No way. So they went to, from nearly 4,000 population to 151. And they're still starving. Yeah, I still... I mean, maybe there's some space for us to spawn some... Uh, some berry bushes for them. No, still no space. I guess we probably just can't spawn them on this biome. Um, but thankfully, their empire has expanded quite a bit, so I think they're gonna, they're gonna be fine. They'll they'll survive. Great Essie continues to expand downwards. Um, Pohati still chilling down here. See, is he still happy? Okay, he's still vibing. Yeah, uh, I think he likes the company. All right, so at this point, almost the entirety of Africa has been uh, conquered here. Okoko actually um, kind of managed to sneak past everyone and build some colonies over here in the Middle East. And then a uh, Fifi is starting to move into kind of Asia area. Um, you got Holy Pammy. Moving north um, into kind of China. Okay, and then Great Essie is going to war with someone. Oh, okay, it went through. Oh, it's with pies. Can they even get to them? Do they have boats? I, I don't think, I don't know if anyone has boats yet. Um, they have docks. It looks like a few cultures. Um, Katarab, which is Holy Pumi. Um, they have, they're about to get transport boats. And it looks like m a lot of empires are about to get boats. Um, Kafu Fab. Oh, that's them. Okay. Well, that's convenient. I think they're the only empire that has boats. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes. Okay. The new war from I bet she is declaring war on someone. They've declared war on the Ogasog. Oh, I bet she's a pretty big empire. They might actually be the biggest empire right now. Oh yeah, they are. Almost 700 population, um, 26 army. Oh yeah, this is gonna be super easy. And yep, okay, Ozagog is gone. All right, year 41, we just entered into the Age of Sun. Something is going on in Great Opo. Okay, so they're getting attacked by just a giant little pumpkin man here, um, and they're not winning. Imagine losing a war to a pumpkin. Yeah, so Holy Pammy has expanded um, pretty north. Um, so they're, they just broke through kind of China into um, Russia area. Uh, they also built a new colony over here, um, kind of on the east. Uh, Great Kuv and Ibechi, or Ibech, uh, just went to war. Oh, Ibech has expanded very far. So they got colonies all the way up here in kind of Greece and Turkey, I think. Okay, Great Kuv actually managed to claim that colony. That's really surprising. Um, they seem like they were kind of outnumbered here. And Ibechi's down to 275. Oh, okay, Ibechi's making a comeback, I think. Okay, Great Kuv is getting captured. And then Holy Pammy just declared war on Olal. Olal did manage to get out of that spot. I wasn't sure if they were still trapped there. They're gonna claim Sri Lanka, but it looks like they're still pretty outnumbered by Holy Pammy. I don't think this is gonna go super well. Meanwhile, over here, I bet she is about to take Great Kuv's last colony. R.I.P. Great Kuv. Yeah, Olal's northern colonies just got taken over. Just this one colony left. The 70, 80, 90, and... Okay, Olal's gone. Yeah, so Holy Pammy is now up to about 400 population. Oh, Great Essie. Just give up on this war. What are you, what are you guys doing? They built a boat but it's literally there's no way for them to get out yeah there's there's 86 soldiers on here well maybe they'll figure it out eventually all right year 50 we have had um about 9300 deaths um world population is up to 4,000. so a coco just declared war on ur I'm not sure ur has or does have a couple other colonies and a coco might actually lose this battle because they don't they really don't have that much population all right and is that oh no they have a couple colonies up here down to 186, or is up to 330. Great Essie, did they finally make it? Or no, okay. Pies just got destroyed by some wizard or something. Are these little uh, fire creatures? So I guess that war is just over. All right, then Essie's got a, like a fire wizard or something attacking them. Here comes the army though. Come on, boys. 
Get him. Oh man, they can't even, they're getting roasted before they can even reach him. Okay, did they get him? I think they did. Or, or maybe he just teleported somewhere else. I don't know what is going on. Then Holy Pammy. Oh, they declared war on uh, Holy Nabito. All right, so Holy Pammy, they actually are becoming kind of a big empire again. So that's good. They're almost to 600, I think. They might actually be the biggest empire right now. Yeah, 600, 111 army, followed by I bet she. So I bet she did end up winning that war. And then EBAC, um, I guess they're down here. They actually expanded onto South America. All right, let's take a look at what the highest culture is right now. So it looks like um, Katarab. Um, so they, looks like we're starting to get some bronze and copper. Um, we got house tier four, armor production. Some new weapons. All right, we're in year 75. It looks like Holy Pammy is almost up to uh, 900 population. Um, Ebac is currently trying to attack Isa right now. And Okoko is going after Holy Maui, which has actually become a pretty sizable empire, um, which is really surprising. All right, what do we got going on? We got Holy Pammy versus a Pyfi. We also got um, Okoko versus Holy Maui. And then there is an alliance that might um, start between Great Easy and Great Un. And... Yes. Okay, Sword of People was just formed. They have about 700 population between them and 150 soldiers. Um, I wonder if they'll go after Pammy. Okay, a Pyfi just got destroyed by Pammy. Um, that war is over. Man, look how much army Pammy has. Looks like Okoko might actually lose this war to Holy Maui. Um, they're down to less than 300. Holy Maui's up to almost 600. Then Holy Pammy and Ibechi are actually surprisingly evenly matched. Holy Pammy does outnumber Ibechi by a little bit, but um, it really is kind of anyone's game between those two. It's funny just the contrast between Maui and Okoko. Maui's slogan is, we are eternal. So, you know, they're pretty optimistic they think they're gonna last um well forever <laughs> and then you go to okoko and they're literally we are sorrow they're just they're all just depressed over there in okoko all right year 110 i've skipped a little bit of time i bet you and pammy are still kind of going at it um neither one has really been able to pull ahead that much so we'll see it seems like i bet you and Pammy just are kind of trading colonies. And then Holy Meowie and Okoko uh, still going at it. Um, Holy Meowie did manage to like kind of push them out of uh, this area. Oh, okay. Are they going to take this colony? Almost. And yep, they got it. Okay, up to 700 population. Shoot. Okay. Yes, yeah, so a great easy and great un. They're still allies, and they just went to war with Holy Pammy. Crap! This this might actually be the end of Pammy. There's no way they can hold off. Uh, I bet she and um, these two. All right, they claim part of Russia. It looks like they're funneling into Thailand. Um, 50, 60, 70, 80. One colony's down, and Holy Pammy is about to drop below Great Easy. And then I bet she has actually passed up Holy Pammy as well. See how much um, population they have. Uh, so they got 840, and then Great Easy and I bet she. Both have the same amount of army. And then Ebac, that's a surprising one. So I guess Ebac's doing pretty well right now. Um, Holy Maui is um, almost up to 700. And they also have some pretty good armies down here. Yeah, so Ebac, they've taken over a ton of um, South America. Looks like Ibechi is... Um, Kind of moving into Greenland area. Okay, we just reached year 120. Um, Holy Pammy's down to just 550 population. And then Ebac also just declared war on Holy Maui, which I'll be curious to see how this goes because I feel like Ebac, since they're split up and they have most of their colonies on South America, I don't know if they really have enough army to defend these African colonies. Looks like they're kind of getting destroyed over here. I mean, their army is coming around, but they're just like super slow. Also, Great Easy just built a colony um, on Alaska. I don't know. That's so random. That's literally the furthest point from them, but they went all the way over there. All right, Holy Pammy down to 300 population. Great Essie and uh, Great Un are just destroying them. And then I bet you, I think, is trying to make peace with Holy Pammy right now, but I don't think it's really going to do anything. I think Holy Pammy's just kind of um, destroyed at this point. All right, Holy Pammy's down to just two colonies left. 60, 70, no, okay, down 40, 30. Why can't they take this? They don't even have like any army in here. They have like this tiny little squad. All right, there we go. All right, this is the end of Holy Pammy. And was just taken over. Great Easy is up to 1500 population. Great Un's at 430. And then um, the war down here between Ebac and Maui isn't going too well for Ebac. Uh, so they were just kicked out of Africa. Um, Holy Maui's up to 850. Oh no. Okay. And then I bet she just declared war on Ebac too. That's like 2500 uh, population uh, between the two of them going against. Ebacks like 650. And then with this war over here, I think we just have to kind of fast forward. It's gonna take forever for uh, people to get around. All right, Maui and I bet you're meeting Ebacks army in North America area. So they're not doing too bad. They got they got a fair bit of army here. They got a 44, but there's also just 
like a, so much army that's coming down. <laughs> it's nice they have so many archers because they're just kind of ranging all these people. Just a few people left and it looks like they broke through. All right, and then great easy and great un just went to war with i bet you and then okoko is just chilling in the middle of like all this conflict i bet you because all their army is over here in north america so they have no army to defend themselves with um great easy and great un are just kind of walking through them but holy maui's coming back i wonder why did they oh they're not at war with ebac anymore oh no okay holy maui just declared war on i bet you too oh shoot they're at war with literally the entire world oh man yeah i bet she's already almost down to 300 population then oh Coco, what are you guys doing? I hope they're not going to war with anyone big. I hope it's just Ibechi. Okay, what's the what's the plot here? What's going on? Okay, yeah, they are planning a war against Ibechi. All right, Okoko did end up clearing war on Ibechi. So here they come. They're sending little, their little armies. Um, two colonies left. One colony left. And that's the end of Ibechi. So at this point, we only have one, two, three, four, five empires left. And I really just want to go until there's only one left. So let's go ahead and fast forward until we get another war. Even if it takes... All right, and we got our war. So Great Easy just declared war on uh, Holy Maui. So out of the two, uh, Great Easy is definitely better by, well, actually a lot. Uh, Great Easy has almost got a thousand army and Holy Maui's got uh, 500. Also, Great Easy has Great Un as their ally. So yeah, I don't I don't think things are gonna go super well for Great Maui. All right, year 181, we just entered into the Age of Chaos. Um, Holy Maui's down to uh, just drop below a thousand population. It looks like Great Easy's about to claim a few uh, big colonies. Oh, okay. Ebac just declared war on um, Okoko. I mean, we'll see how this goes because Okoko did claim a lot of um, North America. Um, so they're almost up to 900 population. They could um, potentially pull this off. Um, they got 300 army. Ebac's got 400. Yeah, Ebac definitely outnumbers them, but uh, it is still possible for them to win. All right, Holy Maui drop below 700 almost to 600 um they pretty much just occupy the coast now and then ebac is pushing okoko back so they pushed him out of some of the u.s colonies and they're moving up into canada all right south africa was just claimed so just one colony left for maui all right 90 and that one just got taken over uh, so holy maui's is out um let's see how okoko's doing they're down to 750 um so that's not too bad we're down to just four uh, empires left and then great easy looks like they're about to break ties with great un uh which is kind of sad honestly they've been allies for a very long time how long have they been allies for um 117 years yeah so literally like almost more than half of this world's age and now they're breaking up are right, then great easy just clear war on ebac yes yeah, so ebac is pretty much at war with the entire world but on the bright side i mean this means okoko is going to survive um because ebac was definitely kind of uh, destroying them over here uh yep here comes easy's army yeah it's kind of hard to tell what's going on but I think Easy's winning. So they've been kind of pushed out of North America. All right, and then I guess uh, Great Un just went to war with Okoko, which I think they're gonna be able to push him out of Europe. Um, just because they have don't really have any army in here. I think most of their army is kind of focusing on Ebac. All right, Easy has broken into South America. They've got they're contesting a, like all of their colonies all at once. All right, two colonies left. 30, 40, 50, 80, 90, and 100. All right, so Ebac was just destroyed. We have three empires left. All right, Great Easy just declared war on... Oh no, Okoko. Okoko is trying to make peace with Great Un. He's literally like everyone's at war with them. All right, so I guess that peace tree didn't go through. Okay, Great Un just declared war on Great Easy as well. Yeah, so literally the entire world is at war right now. Um, Okoko is down to 500. Oh, they're so surrounded right now. Easy just got so much land around them. All right, so they're down to just two, okay, four colonies left. They're all being contested right now. Um, Aluva looks like the first to fall. Okay, then Eddie Moise is getting captured. Oh no, okay, Okoko just got destroyed, so they're out. And then Un was trying to make a treaty, but uh, I guess it didn't go through, so rip Un. Okay, Weow is about to get captured, and that's it. Okay, two more. Um, Cork and Kai Leona. Dang, I'm still kind of sad that the uh, treaty between them didn't go through. Was kind of hoping this game would end in friendship, but I guess not. It's a cruel and dark world. All right, just one colony left. Uh, I mean, maybe they just won't notice it. Oh, nope, they noticed it. All right, this is it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All right, 80, 90, and... That's it. All right, so Great Un was just destroyed and Great Easy, I guess, conquered the entire world. All right, so we started this world out with 10,000 population. Um, we're ending with 8,500. And over the course of 250 years, 45,000 people have died. 